So in this video, we're going to talk about boiling points, right? And we're using an example. So the boiling point of diether ether is actually about 35 degrees C, while that of one butanol is actually 118. So one butanol is actually almost three times as high, has a, uh, as almost as three times higher boiling point than actually diether ether. Uh, now, the relationship real quick between these two compounds are actually what we call constitutional isomers. Right? So that means that we have the same molecular formula. The atom connectivity is just different. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, well, why does one butanol have such a higher boiling point in comparison to diethyl ether? Right? And it's the idea because of hydrogen bonding. Mm -hmm. So one butanol possess what we call hydrogen bonding. Diethyl ether does not. Right, So we do not have any hydrogen bonding occurring in diethyl ether. Mm -hmm. So the takeaway point is that the more hydrogen bonds you have within a structure, the higher its boiling point will be. This is one of the reasons why diethyl ether is actually so flammable and so reactive because of its low boiling point and so in fact we actually store this in actually a refrigerator to actually keep it in solid in, in, in the liquid form otherwise as soon as you take it out put it on the bench top it will actually evaporate so the major thing again that i want you guys to take away from the video is that the higher the more hydrogen bonds you have the higher the boiling point of a substance uh will tend to be